Hivers. Welcome to Honeybee Stamping Hive, where creative buzz is always in the air. I am Tashana Lundy, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Florida, serving customers all over the United States. And today, we're going to be working with the Paper Pumpkin Kit. This is the October 2024 Nests of Christmas Paper Pumpkin Kit, and we're going to be making some alternatives. But first, let me show you what this kit originally made. So these are the two cards that it makes. They are fun folds. You open them like this, and on this one, opens this way, like this. And they have these beautiful coordinating envelopes with the um, shaded spruce foiling on them. Really cute, right? Okay, but before we get into our projects, of course, we have to go over the buzzworthy business of the day. We have our Filled with Joy Paper Pumpkin Kit that's going to make eight fabric stockings and paper tags. Um, Poppy Parade is the stamping spot. Then we have our Mary Tags and More Dies add-on for $12. You're going to get three dies that coordinate with October, November, and December paper pumpkin kits. There's a link in the description box below for you to sign up for the paper pumpkin if you haven't already done so. Next, we have our um, kits collection sale. The kits are on sale for up to 30% until October 31st. So... These kits only include the ones that are online in the kits collection. It does not include paper pumpkin or the um, scrapbooking kits, okay? Up to 30% off, though. Special for the starter kit. When you become a um, sign up to become a Stampin' Up! demonstrator until October 31st, they're going to add in $30 extra into the starter kit. So the starter, starter kit is $99 plus tax. Originally, you would get $125 worth of product, but during this promotion, you're going to get $155 worth of product for your $99, okay? Your starter kit is going to include some free business supplies, a past paper pumpkin kit, and free shipping. This is our host code for the month. This is the code I would like for you to use whenever you're placing an order with me. Unless your order is $150 or more, don't use this host code because you're going to qualify for Stampin' Rewards, and Stampin' Rewards equals free product from Stampin' Up!, and I don't want you to miss out on any of your freebies. All right. That is all of our buzzworthy business for today. So let's go ahead and get started on these alternates. So our first card, I'm going to be using a card base here. This is gray granite. I had to think about it. It's eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. Burnishing that score line. I did go ahead and um, decorate the inside already. This is some cherry cobbler, five and a half, no, not cherry cobbler, real red, five and a half by, oh my goodness, five by three and three fourths, basic white, three and a half by four and three fourths, designer series paper. This is from the Nest of Winter, because this kit coordinates with the Nest of Winter suite of products. Um, that is three and a quarter by three and a half, okay? So I have some real red here. This real red and the is five and three eighths by three and seven eighths. This designer series paper, five and a quarter by four. So we're gonna adhere these two together. And I'll tell you when I'm using the components from the kit. This kit, oh my goodness. I really like the colors, the elements. Okay, so then I have a piece of uh, basic red here. Let me see, that is three and seven sixteenths <laughs> by four and seven eight nine sixteenths <laughs> this is from the paper pumpkin kit it's the insert that comes out of um this card so to make that window and it's about three and a quarter about three five sixteenths by four and seven sixteenths okay <clears throat> and we're going to layer this onto this um, real red. Just like that. And we're going to get this put onto our card base. 
put that right here in the middle. I love these colors. Still got everything open in the right way. Okay, so now I'm bringing in all the rest of the elements from the kit. So we have our sentiment label, our cardinal, and our little leaf. So let's do some stamping. On this one, we are going to stamp in shaded spruce. This is the color that um, of the classic stamping spot that came with the kit. We're going to stamp joyful thoughts to you this season. like that then we are going to add this ribbon from the kit along with the tear and tape also provided in the kit just going to add that back there like that and we're going to get some stamping dimensionals these dimensionals are also from the kit <laughs> i'm just gonna add Oh no, that's not on there. Add a few on here, like so. Then we have dimensionals already on the back of our bird here. So let me remove the backings. Okay, so I got the backings off of this. We're gonna um, adhere it to this piece here. I'm gonna put it just about right there, like that. Then I'm gonna add some glue to the back of this. Cause we're gonna adhere this part down flat. I wanna put it about right there, like that. Making sure your bird does not go over the top of your um, card base cause you know, you need it to fit in the envelope. <laughs> Let's remove these backings from the sentiment. And we're just going to place this right down here. Try to get it even. That looks pretty good. Then I'm going to get my Take Your Pick tool. And I have some the Rhinestone Basic Jewels. I colored a few with my Real Red um, Stampin' Blend. And I'm just going to add a few onto our card here. Come on. <laughs> that is our first card done. Isn't that cute? And let me show you, I did one ahead of time using the frame part of the card. So I did this one, I stamped the same greeting cut out um, a banner to layer behind it. Have some of this ribbon here. This is the, um, what is this called? Mm, it's the Cherry Cobbler Satin Ribbon with the gold, so pretty. But I made a card within a card. So I just cut a piece of designer series paper that was about like, I think eight and a quarter by four and scored it in half and put it in the middle. Did some stamping. I put this here because I put these little berries on the front and forgot it's going to bleed through. So I had to cover it up. <laughs> but then I popped up this bird I cut out of the designer series paper and used some tinsel gems on there to decorate it. Okay. So let's move on because we have another card to make. So our next card um, has a card base of crumb cake. Eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. Design um, decorated the inside. This is going to be a stack cut and shuffle. So I did make two more of these. So I have a piece of um, early espresso here that is five and a quarter by four. Is it five and a quarter by four? No, it's five and three eighths by um, three and seven eighths. Okay, so I've already gone ahead and did my stack cut and shuffle. So these were five and a quarter by four, three different pieces. These two pieces here are from the kit. This is the designer series paper, but I stacked them up and cut them. And we're gonna put it back together like a little puzzle. So let's get some glue on here. Try to give it an even border on all three sides here. And 
And I'm trying to work a little faster on this one because if it's not placed properly, I want to have some time to wiggle it into the right spot. <laughs> Let's see. This one goes around this way. Okay. And as I can see, I didn't give it a right border on this side. So now I don't have enough on that side. But. Ooh. So now we're going to go ahead and adhere this to our card base, just like this. And then and then I used um, the nested essential dies to cut this little piece out of some basic white. And we're gonna get some cherry cobbler ink. And we're gonna stamp the word Christmas from our stamp set from the kit right at the bottom here, just like that. And then, and then, and then, I used um, the dies that coordinate with um, the Mary Tags and More dies that coordinate. I used these to cut out Mary, and we're gonna put this onto our little label here that I made. I should have used the, um, what is that called? The adhesive sheets to make this a sticker. That would have been a lot easier than trying to put the glue on the back. I don't have any little sponges where I would do the little thing where you put the glue on your silicone sheet. <laughs> I don't have any sponges though. So we're gonna put this right about here, just like that. And then I cut out this frame from our die set and I'm going to have it going this way. Actually, let me go ahead and put this on my card. That way I have the right placement. So I'm going to put this about right here on my card base Then I'm going to add this. That is slanted, but I want this one to be straight. So I want it to parallel with the bottom of my card. Let me close this ink before I get a mess. Okay, next we are going to add a leaf that I cut out from our um, dies from the, that coordinate with the kit. Well, not this kit, but coordinates with the this quarter of kits. And I use the festive glimmer paper. And I'm gonna put this about right here like so then I stamped a bird from our stamp set colored it in with um, crumb cake mark um, stamping blends and a little bit of a pumpkin pie we have this popped up on stampin dimensionals again these stampin dimensionals were provided in the paper pumpkin kit and I'm gonna place this bird about right here. Then I have a tiny little bow that I made out of that same ribbon I used on the other card. And we're gonna place that with some glue dots right here by our little opening. I put one there and I like to put one on the actual bow. So right on the knot. Then we're going to just place our bow like that. So that is that card done, the, the stack, cut, and shuffle. So let me show you the other two. So there they go. I use different colors. This is Knight of Navy and um, I think Blueberry Bushel. Night of Navy and Balmy Blue, not Balmy, Boho Blue, the end color. <laughs> Goodness. This one is um, Pool Party the bird and I know it's a cardinal but I like to get different colors so I use the tinsel gems on these oh I didn't put my gems on here so for this one I'm using the um rhinestones so 
because I need to put some on here. I almost forgot. There we go. Now it's done. You gotta add a little more bling to it. <laughs> okay. So um, from that card, I was inspired to make this card using that tag from the dies, the Mary from the dies. I use some designer series paper. This um, shaded spruce part is from another card base from the kit. Die cut, not die cut, but fussy cut this from the designer series paper, the nests of winter. Stamped the little dotage from the stamp set. The Christmas is from the stamp set. But isn't that cute? I thought that was a real cute. Night of Navy and the shaded spruce. Yeah. Oh, and I used the shaded spruce ribbon. What is this ribbon called? This is the um, satin and sheer ribbon, shaded spruce, and then some white twine, baker's twine. These are the sequins, the shiny sequins and pumpkin pie because of the pumpkin pie there. That's all. <laughs> and I also made a few tags. So isn't that cute? This is the um, silver and gold brushed foil. The festive um, glimmer paper. This is some glimmer paper that um, I can't remember the name. Let me see if I can find it. This is the Berry Burst Old Olive and White Glimmer Paper. <laughs> so that's where I got that one from for that, that leaf. But I used um, the iridescent discs, adhesive back discs on these two. And then on this one, I don't remember the name of those jewels, but I love those. They are so pretty. These are the iridescent faceted gems. So yeah, I love these little gems. So yeah. And you see all the different ribbon and twine. Okay. So I got inspired to do a lot. So let's go ahead and make our last and final card. This one has a base of cherry cobbler and the same eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. So I got the um, little card front from the car, one of the cards on the kit. I love, this is my favorite part of the kit, this piece right here. So we're just going to glue this down flat. to our card base, our cherry cobbler. So I have cut this down to five and a quarter by four, this piece. And you, as you've seen, I used a little piece of it in the inside that looks like to be like a quarter of an inch. Here's another element from the kit, another window from um, one of the cards. I love this one with the foiling on it. I thought it went perfect with the other piece that has the foiling. We're going to set that right there in the middle. Then I have a little sentiment label. We're going to do some stamping. So on this one, we're going to use the cherry cobbler ink and we're going to stamp Christmas again. I'm going to stamp that right here at the bottom. Then we have the word Mary. We're gonna stamp that if I get it right side up. <laughs> and we're gonna stamp Mary right there. Close up our ink. And we're gonna add the same like ribbon on like we did on the first card. This is all from the kit. We're gonna add our dimensionals to our sentiment label. Okay. Move the backings. Then I have two bird, the bird pieces from the kit, and we're gonna put this together the same way we did on the um, when you made the kit, when I did the um, unboxing of the kit. So. I did use a little more dimensionals than they did, but I'm going to put our bird right there. Then we're going to add glue to the back side of this. And we're going to add this to the top of our card, making sure that there's enough space for this. 
okay? So we're gonna add that about right there. We're gonna put our sentiment label on straight, hopefully. Just about, it's not centered. Ooh, about like that. Hopefully that's straight, okay? Then where's our gems? We're gonna decorate this with some of our rhinestones. If I can keep a hold of it, come back. Okay, that is our last card done. Isn't that cute? I love this one. And let me show you, this is the card base that the um, inside came, well, this piece layer came from. And I put a piece of Designer Series paper behind that. Stamped Happy Holidays. This is the iridescent circle discs with some of that shaded spruce ribbon. And this is the inside. Okay, you guys, let me show you all of the cards that we have for you today. All of the projects, actually, because I have some tags here. I'll show you all of the ones that we shared. These are the three stack, cut, and shuffle. Okay, you guys, that's it. That's all. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I would like to thank you for buzzing by the hive today. Until next time, buzz you later. Bye. Bye.